Ah, what a great day today to get outside. Matt, I'll have you know, I got outside, beat my husband and kids in basketball, and then I taunted what? them with my best Dikembe Mutombo. No, no, no. Wow. <laughs> no, no, no. That, <laughs> Lena, that's, you know, no, I, no, I'm no. sure you... I'm sure you taunt them every day, no matter what you do, but basketball, I didn't know you had that kind of skill. That's great. Listen, when yes. we all get back together at WKYC, we're going to build a hoop in the backyard, and we're going to go out there during our breaks, and Nick Camino will probably beat us, but we'll have fun. That's great. Good for you, Lena Lai. I'm so proud of you. I still feel bad for your family, but I'll tell you, I'm sure they all, you know, you can't win I never win at anything, so it's okay. That's true. All right. I'll give you that. All right. <laughs> You certainly have that, Lita. I'm so proud of you, though. I'll send you guys a card. Hey, 65 degrees today. That's what temperature it was at your basketball court there, Lena, today. Look at the range in temp. So our records go anywhere from about 83 to minus 4. That is how crazy we can get in March. You either get the warmth or the cold. It's rarely ever our average, which is at 48 right now. Area highs across northeast Ohio, just beautiful today. Mid-60s. Don't forget, if you're in the sunshine, it typically feels about 10 degrees warmer. So you were feeling more like the 70s if you were in that sun outside today, which so many of us were. Temperatures are going to come down pretty quickly tonight. We're in the 60s now. Notice the shadow of the lake. We did have that lake cooling within about a mile, mile and a half of Lake Erie. We were dealing with temperatures in the 40s and 50s. That will be the case uh, really tomorrow, and then we'll start to pick up this wind and we'll start to erode that uh, lake breeze. But we have 65 Akrono, even Wayne County sitting at 61 in Worcester right now, very comfortable. I want to show dew points. This measures how much moisture is in the air. I think this is a true read of it because it is bone dry out there, folks. You might probably still have uh, dry skin or you're sneezing, whatever it happens to be, because the air is dry. This is still humidifier running weather inside. We've got a dew point of eight. There's virtually no moisture out there whatsoever, as opposed to later in the spring when we start to get some of that foliage. We start to increase the humidity a little bit, but we've got none of it outside today. Clear blue skies. What's looking at this on radar at Portage County? Right off of 76. That's either a flock of birds uh, or perhaps some smoke in the air, but you can see that getting picked up on all the radars today. I looked up all the reports, couldn't find anything on that, but if you know, feel free to hit me up on Twitter with that. Otherwise, we've got clear skies area-wide. That's courtesy high pressure. We're on the return side of that. We do have a front out in the plains. This will head our way and stall over the next 24 hours and eventually move in here later this week. But you can see out ahead of it, we've got mild air for days out ahead of that. And we're going to continue this pattern at least for the next four or five days. National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. In that very dry air, we heat up quickly, we cool down quickly. So we'll be back into the 30s to near 40 tonight. That's how we'll start our Northeast Ohio Monday. But by afternoon, another day with sunshine, couple high clouds. Temperatures, I think, upper 60s tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful start to the week. And then Tuesday, I have us a touch cooler because we'll add some more clouds in, but uh, no rain in the forecast Monday or Tuesday during the day. Tuesday night, though, as we look ahead, you can see the system comes in with some scattered showers here later in the day Tuesday. I think most of the day is dry, but it's really Tuesday night, Wednesday. We'll have scattered showers around here. That system really weakens. Here's our stronger storm this week, though. As we get into the Thursday, we'll see more rain come through. May have some storms with us Thursday night Friday as that heads on off towards the north will eventually cool things down so this is rare territory we're in right now in terms of rainfall this week we are going to be dealing with some pretty decent amounts especially off towards the west again it's that Wednesday night Thursday system that we'll be watching as we bring in heavier rain then you need home mortgage 7 forecast 60s next two days there's your rain Wednesday real good rain Thursday on into Friday I've got us in the 70s and then we cool down next weekend with more rain in the forecast so it definitely turns spring like but enjoy the next four days. This is rare territory. Al Polowski is up after the break with sports.